In this video I will teach you how to do UV unwrapping for your 3D character in Blender. The first thing you should do is to go to UV editing. But before doing that, apply the mirror modifier. As you can see, your character will be in edit mode and when you select the entire mesh by pressing A, this is what the UV map looks like. However, when you try to add a texture, simply by going to Shader, Add Image Texture and connect any image from your computer, this is what will happen. This is the texture when you have the basic UV map. This texture, however, will look weird when you try to extrude or manipulate the 3D model, so to fix this problem you will need to unwrap your character. Go to UV Editing and since there are many options I will show you every option for unwrapping. The first one is Unwrap Angle Based. Your UV map will be unwrapped like this. I mean, this depends on your model, it will be different if you model something else. Unwrap Conformal. It does the same job for my model. The Smart UV project has some parameters, angle limit, margin method, rotation method. When you adjust the rotation method, you will get the different axis alignment. By adjusting the angle limit, your map will look like this. It will be more adjusted when you try to change island margin and area weight. You will get a randomized UV map. So, this map is perfect if you want something experimental. But if you need a clear UV map, like if you need a UV map that will be easy to manipulate and edit in the future, I would recommend you to do this. There are three options. The first one is Cube Projection. It creates a UV map that is almost identical to your 3D model. And this looks great, but it is overlapping. When you select a part of the mesh, you will see that those vertices look confusing and randomized. And there is also Sphere Projection. The third one is Project from View. It's a very useful option if you want to project any part of the 3D model into a 2D surface, which is UV map. And it looks amazing. You can do it with any part of the model. Let me show you how to add it. First of all, you should select any part of your model. Now when you click Project from View, here's what happens. Depending on your model, this method will take time. I will speed up the process and show you some very important tips for making UV mapping faster. First, let's select the front part of the model. Select all the faces that belong to the front part of the model. You can do it by going to Front Orthographic or you can manually select them. But make sure that you are in Front Orthographic mode when you press the Project from View. And here's what you get the 2D presentation of your 3D model. Now you can move and edit those vertices. For example, move them to the top left corner. Thank you Cosmo, I have just added it. Now it's time for the next step, adding side views. For the side view, you can select all the faces that are on the side. But for some reason I will skip the arms and put them to be separate. Because you might have a hard time determining which are the faces for the opposite side. Go to Select, Mirror Select. This is a simple tip that can save you time trying to determine which faces are on the mirror side. So you should also do the same. Go to UV, Project from View. The same method for the front view of the character will be for the back view. You simply need to select all the faces that are on the back. Simply select all the faces that are on the back and the result will be very similar to the front view. But move it to the top right corner in order to make the difference. Because when you select all the faces, now here is what the UV map looks like. 
you will still need to move some parts of the UV map because you don't want it to overlap with the texture and you want all the parts of the UV map to have their own position. This is very useful because if you get some vertices that are doubled, select them multiple times. Now use the UV project from view every time when you make those parts for the UV map. There are still many body parts that I would like to show you and you should use the same method. The same method is for the inner parts of the legs. You can use the same tip, mirror selection. And because you have those inner parts, move them slightly before the back side of the character. For the head, it's very simple. Just go to the top view and select the faces from the top of the character. You can also select those faces manually in front orthographic and go to top. So, simply do the same, project from view and here's what you get. You will have to move them to a safe place that won't be overlapping with other vertices. There are still some minor details of this model that I would like to add. So, you should use the same method every time when you want to get those parts of the model to be seen at the UV map. The UV map doesn't need to look perfect if you are just thinking about making it for experimental purpose, like trying to texture. When you finish the UV map, you can use it for texture painting. This is the screen of texture painting. I will also make a video that will explain all the features about texture painting in Blender. That sounds like a great idea. But hey Cosmo, you can think about it like using a software for drawing. So, that is pretty much it for this tutorial. Feel free to add some parts of this model to the UV map simply because you want them to be present in the UV map. Just remember, mirror select and project from view. If you have some vertices that appear like this, it means that you are missing them in the UV map. There will be a harder time trying to find those vertices, but don't worry. This is just a basic UV map technique that you can use for your 3D model. I just want to show you the final UV map of my character. Consider subscribing and I will be making more tutorials for both 3D modeling and game development. I will make tutorials for both Blender and Unity in the future. So, stay tuned and have a good day!